We've got books from all over the world here. Shh. Why do we need so many books? We need to prove that Santa Claus is real. In England, his name is Father Christmas. <laughs> Shh. In Holland, he's called Sinterklaas. In Estonia, he's Yulovana. Shh. Chris Kringle, Wizard of War. Tom Ten in Sweden. In Japan. Died Moros in Russia. What's a bell snickle? Hula Pookie. <laughs> Hagio Snickelos in Greece. Ayos Baba in Turkey. Here's a good one. Chimney John. Now that's nice and simple. <laughs> Look at this. He rides on a donkey. He has a giant goat. He lives in Finland. Greenland. The North Pole. <laughs> it's all interesting. But none of this tells me if Santa is real. Well, if he isn't, why do children all over the world think he is? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I wonder if Santa's goat is friends with his reindeer. Maybe they take turns pulling the sleigh. Alleviamo! La cena è pronta! Come in, Papa! Bye, Virginia. See you tomorrow. Bye, Ollie. Somebody needed it more than me. I've been wondering, what did you mean when you said you work for Santa? I just try to do whatever Santa would. You know, make things a little better. So, Santa's your boss? Uh, yeah. Does he pay you? Do I look like I have a steady income to you? What is... You gotta be... A dinner roll? Very generous of you, sir. Listen, kid. And consistent oscillations indicate a steady patient heart rate. Papa? Hmm? Is there a Santa Claus? Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Santa, eh? Well, um, let's examine the facts. Someone brought you presents last year, correct? Hmm. Yes. And someone ate the milk and cookies you left out, right? Right. So, it stands to reason that someone who brings presents and likes cookies came to our house last Christmas. And logically, given the night in question, the present-bringing cookie-eater... Papa! Uh, that doesn't tell me anything. But, well, I suppose the evidence is largely circumstantial. If you see it in the sun, it's so. Hmm? The New York Sun! They always tell the truth, don't they? I could write to them. Well, yes, but newspapers are very busy, and they don't have time to answer every letter, Thanks, so you Thanks, Papa. Hmm. Dear Editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia O'Hanlon, 115 West 95th Street. Whoa, 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 whoa! There, you got it! Yes, wow! Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, it's never going to happen. New York will not incorporate Brooklyn. Sir, I think it's a possibility. Hmm. Manhattan has too many people already. 
And there's no Why way. Don't you look at today's mail. Uh, my daily dose of whining and moaning. Politics, crime, scandal, crime, poverty. Uh, hmm. What is this? Dear editor, some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun, it's so. Who do these people think we are? Barnum's Museum? We report facts, not fantasies. I don't know, sir. Maybe readers would find Lewis, it. Lewis, people rely on this paper for the truth. If I answer this, what will happen to our credibility? Sir, she's a child. Everyone grows up sometime. Hmm. Virginia, I brought you some lunch. Is everything all right? <sighs> I just need some proof. Proof of what, sweetheart? Proof that Santa's real. Virginia, believing in Santa isn't something you prove. It's something you do. Whenever we do things that Santa would, like being kind to others or helping those that have less than we do, that makes Santa real. That's the proof. And does that make sense? No. Well, give it some thought. Don't let your soup get cold. Don't drag your feet. Not in those shoes. Oh, and stop chewing your nails. It's not made like it. It's infantile. It's infantile. Yoo-hoo, driver. Whoa. <laughs> Ew. Huh? It's a surprise. Can I open it? It's not for you, Ollie. Bang in the bucket. Let's go, let's go. Getting cold out here. Huh? This is a chestnut, sir. Hi, Scraggly Santa. Oh. Hey there, kid. And other kid. How's the search for Santa? Better. This is for you. Look at that lining. Red's my color. You needed a coat, so I broke open my piggy bank and got you one. 